Well, we located one female victim. That victim pronounced a friend of the victim speaking out about the life lost. She's great, wonderful, the most the best mother that you can ever ask for in a woman at that age. <laughs> she She's the light of everybody's party. She gets up in the morning and she stays to herself. She takes her kids to school in the morning. She She's she's awesome. All right, what's up with the YouTube fam? And I'm back again with another video. And listen, before I jump into this video, I want to start it out the right way by saying RIP to this young lady. And I want to send my condolences out to her entire family and everybody out there that had a genuine love for her. Now, this situation right here is crazy. It's here, it's sad, it's lame, and it's weird. I just don't understand people these days. And these dudes are supposed to be men. They just soft as hell and tender as hell. It's just weird, bro. But let's go ahead and get into the subject matter. So basically, long story short, it was a young lady that was dealing with a dude. I don't know their relationship status or nothing like that, but they were arguing. And um, I feel like it should have never went to this extent. She said some things to him during the argument that made him snap. Now, I personally don't feel like he snapped. I feel like that he'd been acting tough, playing tough for the longest, and he just, just tripped out this time. I think that this really was inevitable. If you're dealing with certain people, man, over time they're gonna show you who they are and this who he really is, man, in my opinion. But, you know, um, yeah, she argued with him. He was just basically just whining and crying, acting like he was just so distraught after the fact. And I feel like it was all a facade. It was fake as hell. But listen, it's two live videos in this video right here. One live video that I'm about to show y'all is the video of the actual event that took place. But listen, some of the things might be blurred out due to how YouTube is. And what I mean by that is, you know, I'm going to have to take a sound out here and there. But overall, this video was recorded during the situation. And I guess the phone was laying down or something like that. It's not an actual video, but it's the audio. And after that, at the end of this video, you're going to see another live video where a woman is saying certain things. Now look, I feel like this shit should have never happened. And you're going to want to listen to this video from the beginning to the end to get a full context on everything. But I do want to say this right here, man. When you're dealing with people, man, you got to realize that sometimes they might not genuinely love you. You know, they're just possessive as hell. They just don't want to see you with nobody. They jealous. They low vibrational. They weird as hell. They just lame. And you got to watch out for that because you can't get love mixed up with possessive. And that's something that you don't want to do. Now, I feel like that, you know, men will be men. A lot of men can be overprotective, but it's a it's a, it's a a thin line. Well, it's not even a thin line because you can tell the difference. But I want y'all to understand, and this goes for women as well, too. You know, it ain't just for the men. It's women out there that's crazy as hell, too. But when you start seeing signs of that, just go ahead and get away from them, bro. Just leave because it's not worth your life. Now, I'm not here to victim blame her, victim shame her, nothing like that. I'm just speaking on the future situations for the people that's watching this video right now. But let's go ahead and get into it right now. I got the live right here. I'm going to let y'all watch it. And we're going to start talking about this right after it. And uh, let me know your thoughts and opinions on it. Stop. Hey. That's what. Hey, holy shit. I thought I'm on the fucking cash app, nigga. What the fuck? I'm trying to get you to work in the morning, bitch. What I'm using my money, bitch. Go to bed. What are you doing? All right. Good night. Still without no dick. That's what hoes do. Hey! That's what hoes do. Call me a hoe. I'm a hoe then. I don't give a fuck. Oh, come on. Get down. 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 I will shoot the fuck out you. Stop, baby. Okay, stop. I will shoot the fuck out you. Say that again. Say that shit again. I will shoot the fuck out you. Say it again. 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 You a hoe. Get up! Get up! 
Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Come on, Kalea. Go. Come on, babe. Kalia! Kalia! Oh, shit. Come here. Okay, now that y'all have seen that, y'all can see how sick and twisted he was. He could have stopped. He should have never did it, don't get me wrong, but once she said, babe, stop, he should have stopped. That's how I know that he was just tripping then. Now, um, certain information that I'm about to say right now isn't verified, but the information that is verified, I will let y'all know. The information that is verified is that she actually lost her life that night. At first, they thought that she had lost her life that morning, but she didn't. And they're being very vague with details, which is understandable due to the nature of this crime. But, you know, I feel like that a lot of people are out there twisting narratives and they should just wait. Some of the things that I did hear that I ain't verified yet, and I can't verify it yet, is that she had a child or two. I mean, there's certain things that I seen her on her page but, you know, I just don't want to run with that until I know for sure, for sure. And I got to clarify that I knew she was a mother, but I didn't know she was a mother of two. So that's where the confusion came in at. But it has been confirmed that she has children. But basically, long story short, you know, they were saying that the child found her, called the police and things like that. Whatever the case may be, this should have never happened at all, like I said before. Now, I got a timeline of everything that took place from the beginning to the end. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. And I really want to know your thoughts and opinions on this. And like I said before, I'm going to continue saying this, that when you're dealing with somebody, sometimes you got to realize that they really just don't love you. They're jealous hearted. They're evil as hell. They're manipulative. They're possessive. And they all of the below. You know, so don't get possessiveness misconstrued with love. You can think that somebody really love you because they're being possessive and aggressive behind you. But in, in all actuality, they got a, a fixation on thinking that they own you and shit like that. Don't get that misconstrued. That is not of God at all. But let's get into this though. Coming on the air this afternoon with some breaking news unfolding on South Bend's northwest side. Police are responding to reports of near the Beacon Heights apartment complex. We're just learning the victim is a female and now the search for a suspect is underway. Our Walid Lamla joins us live in South Bend. Walid, what time did the call come in? Yeah, guys, officers got the call around 8.40 th earlier this morning and responded within minutes. And as you can see behind me, the scene is still a little bit active, but it has slowed down a little bit since then. And as you guys mentioned, this is at the 3400 block of Curtis Drive, just off of Lincoln Way West. Officers responded to the call within minutes and found the female victim. There is no update on her condition at this time. The South Bend Violent Crimes Unit and Crimes Lab are both at the scene. And emotions were high earlier when I first arrived. Neighbors were out talking, chatting, and just all, just looking around at the scene, seeing what was happening. And I was actually able to talk with a neighbor who is friends and knows the victim about what happened earlier here. She did not deserve this. This, 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 is, not, this is not something that needed to be done to her. 
and she needs justice. She really does. She gonna and get this it. is not fair to any to anybody, to any mother. And police are still investigating the crime uh, about what happened over here. If you guys have any information, please reach out to me. Six waiting to learn more about what led up to a stop in Northwest Side. A woman who neighbors tell our team was a mother has now. I hope you're safe. I'm Joshua Shee. And I'm Lauren Moss. Our George Mallet has been following developments in the story all day. He joins us now live with the latest. George. Yeah, it was late last month that I stood here with a stack of statistics reporting how violence had dropped dramatically in South Bend this year. Fact is, shooting incidents in the city have indeed dropped by 41%, but this serves as a stark reminder that remain a problem here. It is a scene we've all grown too familiar with. Plastic yellow tape encircling a crime scene, while police methodically survey an expanse of blacktop for evidence. South Bend Police spokesperson Ashley O'Chap arriving on scene to offer a statement. It's around 8.40 this morning. South Bend Police was called to the 3400 block of Curtis Drive on the report of a shooting. That's in the Beacon Heights Apartments. Uh, upon arrival, we located one female victim. That victim pronounced a friend of the victim speaking out about the life lost. She's great, wonderful, the most the best mother that you can ever ask for in a woman at that age. She, she's the light of everybody's party. She gets up in the morning and she stays to herself. She takes her kids to school in the morning. She, she's, she's awesome. And in the next breath, speaking directly to a killer. We need justice and you know who you are and you know what you've done and you need to be a man, be a man. Police haven't said if a man is suspected in this, but have said they do not believe the public is at risk. And when police say they do not believe the public is at risk, it is usually an indication that the victim and the killer are somehow connected and that the crime was not a random act. Police are encouraging anyone who knows anything about this crime to call Michiana Crime Stoppers. In the meantime, this matter remains under investigation by the South Bend Police Department's Violent Crimes Unit. Enough is enough, that's for sure. George Mallet in studio, George. Thank you. New details, police were called to South Bend's Northwest Side this morning for a One woman... And this evening, the South Bend Police Violent Crimes Unit is investigating, but police say the public is not in danger. From the studio. Some breaking news that you first saw here at noon. Yeah, police are looking into a fatal on South Bend's northwest side. Here's what we can report right now. Residents of the Beacon Heights Apartments, they tell our team shots were actually fired there overnight. However, the call to police came in just before 9 this morning. When they got there, they found one female victim with what they're calling a parent gun wounds. Police have not released her identity to us, but friends on scene reacted to our team today. She she did not deserve this. This is this is not this is not something that needed to be done to her. And she needs justice. She really does. And this is not fair to any to anybody, to any mother. The incident is under investigation by the South Bend Police Department's Violent Crimes Unit. Anyone with info should contact Michiana Crime Stop. She was messing with two guys. She was messing with one. Mm -hmm. Um and then some other dude. Mm. But the other dude. Oh, oh, she don't lie. Sorry, honey. Oh, Sorry. <laughs> so if she don't lie, she finna give you all the details. I done say what I had to say. I'ma holler at y'all later. I'm gonna give y'all updates when they come out. Y'all might gotta go to my crime channel to see them. I'ma put that down in the comment section. And uh yeah, maybe we're gonna talk about it a little bit later. I'm gonna let y'all watch this and I'ma holler at y'all later and watch you dealing with man. I don't know how true this is or what she's saying, but listen. Be careful who you're dealing with. Be mindful of what's going on in your life and everybody around you. Just keep analyzing everything all day, every day. That's just how I feel about it. And if it's causing a lot of confusion, it's not meant for you. Because God is not the author of confusion. But I will holler at y'all later, though. All right. She was messing with two guys. She was messing with Juan mm -hmm. um, and then some other dude. Mm. But the other dude... Oh, was, oh she don't lie. Sorry, oh, honey. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So, yeah, so I knew... I knew for a fact that I had to meet either him or that black person. They won't tell me because I'm not legit. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'm going to wait till some of you guys jump on this live. I think it's very important that you jump on this live. Oh, 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 I know. <clears throat> Excuse me, you guys. Some information. I think I'm like literally right here in Beacon Heights. I think a few of you guys probably need to share this live. We have an 
African American young lady. That is deceased out here. I think the problem is uh, none of her family member is out here. I did try to reach out to a couple people in their inbox, hoping and praying that you know they all give me a call back or or um, come to this scene. <coughs> Excuse me, you understand I got that the young lady. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. My voice been bothering me. You understand I got the young lady really was killed last night. They said that her seven-year-old uh, supposed to be going to school, getting on the bus, and when the seven-year-old go to the mother, the mother was already deceased. No, she she do have a three-year-old. No, the three-year-old was not here. It's a seven-year-old. I feel like you guys need to share this live. It's not, but she's still in the apartment right now. It's just like when you first come in, it's like you pass the rent office. That first driveway to the right is literally right there. You see that? I think you all need to um, please share this live. Due to the fact there's no, not one family member out here for this young lady. No, I would not give her a name online. I did reach out to a couple of people. Um, like I said, hopefully they have um, get back in touch with me. And like I said, a three-year-old was not in the house with her. Her son is a seven-year-old. Um, the boyfriend did do it. Um, like I said, they said it happened really like sound like 12 o'clock last night and just think just imagine you have a child that's in the house sleep and she wake up to get ready for school and her mother is deceased in here uh, that's something that i wouldn't wish on my worst enemy if you guys can hear you see a lot of people out here talking that lives out here so like i said guys uh, I believe she like she about 30 no she about what 28 don't don't call her don't call her name out please how old is she a 24 please don't call her name out again please I hope you guys didn't catch that because you guys know when I go live I never you know, call our person name out, especially if, you know, there's no family member out here. I would definitely, definitely, you know, reach out to someone. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to stay alive probably about another 10 to 15 minutes out here. You guys need to really share this live. I really want to give her name out. I really, truly do. But I, I, I just can't right now. Um, it's a sad situation. You got a seven-year-old and witnessed her mother shot in the head. Um, the boyfriend, mm -hmm, yeah, I should give his name out. I, I sure should give his name out. Because I did try to go to his page and he, he has deactivated his page. So you always, you guys always know what I say. Because uh, they're doing a lot of, a lot of talking right here. Here too. See In the meantime, in between yeah. time. Oh, it's, it's one right there on top of the building, but I don't know. But they keep, I don't know. In the meantime, in between time, you guys know this is the same boot again, it's the day news, and like I said, I was still seeing for another 15, 20 minutes, I'm hoping that the people that I did, like, inbox, I'm hoping and praying that you guys really, really, truly get back in contact with me, because there's no family out here. So hopefully they can try to turn that camera this way, or catch all the shit that they're saying, it's supposed to be happening. That her family don't know that she's like literally out here deceased. I mean, true enough, she's still in the apartment. Uh, and the corner has not came in. So, excuse me. I'm finna um, jump off this live. If you want to ask me anything, you can be free. Feel free to ask me. And you try to come back and you, you didn't shoot the stuff because there's only two shots. Somebody said there's two shots. Mm -hmm. 
It was two shots fired, correct? Yep, two shots. So, um, oh, Queen, I'm finna inbox you. I mean, call your phone. I mean, text your phone. I think you might know this young lady family. I believe you do. I think, I, I think you do. So, I'm finna get off of here, and I will, I will be back.